Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today we're going over the air system check and we're going to be starting things off with low pressure in the primary and secondary tank. Um, so once I start the vehicle, there is going to be an audible uh, tone telling me, hey, you've got low pressure, you can't move it yet, um, you don't have the air supply yet. And uh, I'll also show you that there's uh, light on both the primary and secondary tank gauges. And then we'll continue our test from there. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the truck is in neutral. Press the clutch. Allow the gauges to do their sweep. There's the audible tone. All right, so the light and the tone should cut out right here about 60 to 75 PSI. about 75 psi cut out and typically they want to see it go from the cutoff to 85 to 100 psi within 40 seconds and typically you're idled up uh, to about 1100 or so and even with it just at basic idle it still climbed up to the 85 to 100 mark uh, in under 40 seconds and then the governor cutout is going to be right around 120 to 130 psi at that point the air dryer will purge and it will Stop, uh, stop pushing air into the tanks. And if you heard that little pssst, that was the air dryer burning. And we're now at the governor cutout. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the truck down. Then our next test is we are going to apply the parking brakes and we're gonna get out, walk around to the rear of the truck and check the brake chambers to make sure there are no leaks coming from that area. 
and then we'll get back up here in the cab and we'll check and see if there's been a drop in pressure uh, during that time. Okay guys, so now that we have the parking brakes set, we're going to be doing a walk around checking for any air leaks that we can possibly hear. So we're going to start here up by the air compressor. Listen for leaks. Maybe coming off of the governor or whatever. We don't hear any here. So then we're going to move back here to the air tanks. No leaks. We're going to check each one of these brake chambers and along the frame rail where the hoses lead. I'm going to also check the airbags because sometimes they can get dry rotted down here at the bottom or top or whatever and they could cause a leak. And so far so good. We don't hear anything. Another way to check for leaks would be grabbing a bottle, a spray bottle of soapy water, and you can spray all of your connections, the fittings going to the brake chambers, around the tops of the airbags, you know, anywhere that you may think that there could be a leak. I mean, you have plenty of airlines to check. You can go over here, just check once again, make sure there's no leaks. If we had a trailer and these lines were hooked up, we could check those as well. Uh, so pretty much it's, it's very simple and quick to check and listen for these leaks. So after our walk around, we hop back up into the cab and we are going to be performing a full pressure system leak down test. By applying the service brake, we are checking for any leaks when you make a full brake pedal application. We're going to hold this for about two minutes or so. So after the initial application, it was at, it dropped down to slightly below 110, give or take. And, uh, that's actually where we're measuring from, not where we actually began. But while the brake is applied, we're going to see how much we lose after that. Alright, so fast forward through the two minutes, and we're still holding steady pressure right about 110 give or take and that's all there is to performing a leak down test we are going to check the one-way check valves in between the primary and secondary tank and the way we're going to do that is with full pressure in the tanks we are going to watch the gauge up in the cab and drain one of the tanks. Right here is the primary. And this one right here is for the secondary. So what we're gonna do with that is, actually, I'm sorry, the red one 
this one is the secondary. The green one is the primary. And uh, so we're gonna drain one of those. We're gonna allow pressure to escape. And we're gonna see if there's any air leaking out of the opposite tank. And if there is, if there's a drop in pressure from the tank that we're not draining, that means that the uh, the check valve is bad and it's allowing air to get past it the opposite way. It's only a one-way valve, so air should only be going in, not not out. So stick around and we'll get into that. Here we're looking at both of the gauges. They're both reading right about 118 PSI. We're gonna check to make sure the check valves in between the two tanks are good. We are going to check the primary tank check valve now. Uh, we did the secondary first, now we're going to move to the primary. Okay guys, so now we're going to perform a chuff test, which is testing the traction control modulators. What we're gonna do is we are going to press the service brake pedal with the parking brake released, and it will energize all of the solenoids, starting at the passenger front, then to the driver front, and then to the coinciding rears and you will hear an audible chuff noise. And that's all there is to it. All right guys, so that wraps up this video on the air system check. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Have a good one.